That stings a bit, doesn't it? To concede in the 93rd minute on a deflected shot when arguably we've been the better team for big chunks of that game is really hard to take. Um, last game of 2020, you wanted it to be at least a point. We probably could have got three. Um, we've talked about it a lot over the last few weeks. Various fans have said their pieces about it and I'm going to say mine, you know, seriously need to to get something going up front again. We're missing Raul desperately. Could the rumours of Costa be true? I say, let's hope so. He's a liability at times, but he's also a proven goal scorer. It would be fantastic if he came to Wolves. Ouch. Uh, we didn't deserve to lose that, did we, really? Um, but uh, as much as we did it to Chelsea, um, Villa did it to us. And now Man United have. Uh, we didn't deserve to lose that. I thought we played really well, certainly first half and, and half of the second half. I thought... The second part of the uh, the second half, we gave the ball too easy back to them, uh, particularly when Martial came on. It was literally attack versus defence at times there. Um, there wasn't really an outlet. And when the ball came over the halfway line, it would end up back at a Man United foot and they'd come back on the attack again. Positives from tonight. I thought Hoover was sensational. You know, such a young player, first Premier League start. And he was composed. He was um, assured. He just looked brilliant. Sace. You know, solid. Just what a performance. Deserving of the man of the match tonight from uh, Mr Shearer. You know, up in attack, defensively sound all night. Well done, Romain. Um, as a whole, defensively, we were brilliant tonight. I thought men behind the ball, you know, we, we worked really well. Uh, Neves and Moutinho were um, back to their magical ways together in midfield and, and, and sort of dominating the play. But I thought they defended like heroes. I thought Romain Sace, again, um, I thought he was brilliant. Man of the match, certainly for me. Um, Neto going off, he didn't do an awful lot today. I mean, not by his standards. Um, but maybe that's fatigue because we only played two days ago. Um, ultimately, though, we didn't deserve that. that that's gutting. That's gut-wrenching. All in all... Not the best way to finish 2020 as a Wolves fan. We deserve more from that for sure. Um, here's to 2021. I hope everyone had great Christmases. Um, see you in the new year, Wolves fans. Happy New Year. Uh, January is around the corner. Hopefully we can sign um, a striker, maybe two, if we can learn from our previous mistakes and maybe have a bit of cover for the one we bring in. Um, then we're going to need two strikers, maybe a couple of other players uh, to freshen things up in different positions. But overall, uh, that's gutting for me. Um, but the only shining light is, you know, we haven't lost 5-0, have we?